Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover fan control boards. A fan control board controls the high voltage supply to a fan motor. In this example, we have three high voltage terminals located here. We will label these supply, normally closed, NC, and normally open, NO. If you search closely, you can find these designations somewhere in the vicinity of these terminals. NC and NO refer to the communication of these terminals with the supply voltage. High voltage is supplied to this terminal. The NC stands for normally closed, indicates that this terminal indicated will have continuity with the supply terminal in the normal position. Normal position refers to no low voltage being supplied to the G terminal of the board. The NO, or normally open terminal, indicated here, refers to there being no continuity when in the normal position. The board also has three terminals for low voltage, R, C, and G. The R terminal should be supplied with 24 volts at all times. The C is connected to the transformer common, and the G terminal is connected to the thermostat or whatever device is controlling the fan motor. When 24 volts is applied to the G terminal, the NO terminal here will now have continuity with the supply voltage, and the NC terminal will no longer have continuity. If we are desiring to turn a fan on when the G terminal is energized, the fan should be connected to the NO terminal as shown here. If we desire to turn the fan off when the G terminal is energized, the fan should be connected to the NC terminal as shown here. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned and let us introduce you to the super cool slide rule. This tool is guaranteed to save you lots of money by saving you lots of time. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.